Are you with the agency? Yes, I'm with the agency. Do you have the relic? I do. Are you sure about this? These are hard to come by. If the agency wants me to build the best photo app the world's ever seen, I'm sure. Hello. Consistent Upload Man is back in town. A series that I'm hoping to do every two or three weeks or so. Yeah, let's not talk about that. Instead, let's talk about this app that I'm working on. In case you missed the last video, you should go check it out. It's really good. I'm working on a photo editing app. It's like Lightroom, but better in every possible way. In this video, I want to get more into the details of what it is, why I'm doing this, you know, those kinds of things. But before we talk about that, we need to talk about Lightroom. Now, in case you were born yesterday, happy birthday. Lightroom is the post-processing software of choice for most photographers. And in addition to being the industry standard, it also Here's a non-exhaustive list of issues that Lightroom users may be familiar with. Limited organization and sorting capabilities. It barely functions. Still doesn't have an edited checkbox. It's very slow. Import workflow from the 90s. Sync is a nightmare. Fixed filter order. UI that looks like a spaceship cockpit. Editing tools from the early 2000s. Subscription. Cataloging features that barely exist. Refusing to load if your collection is too big. Crashes if you scroll the gallery too much. Preset workflow is a war crime. Masking capabilities of Microsoft Paint. Adobe. The only thing updates do is add new bugs. Color spaces. It's just, it's... Here, come here. Let me show you how to scare an Adobe engineer in 15 seconds. Oh my god, look at this. Look, you can brush individual filters. Look, you can just click on a little brush thing next to a filter and you can brush them in, like, like all of them. What incredible innovation. How come Apple has been able to figure this out 13 fucking years ago and Lightroom still gives you like seven sliders when you use a mask? <sighs> this is the kind of stuff that just drives me up a wall. The year is 2023, we deserve better software, which is exactly what I'm trying to do. So let's talk about what my app does and what it looks like. There are three main goals that I have for this. It has to be fast, it has to have modern editing features, and it has to have cataloging that rivals Aperture. I wanna focus on that last one in this video, but here's a couple of nuggets from the first two. Here's Lightroom versus my app, in the same state, the gallery view, with the same set of photos. And here is the respective memory footprints. Yes, Lightroom spends gigabytes of your RAM just to draw its own UI. It's terrible. I will tell you more as this goes on. Lightroom is bad. I know you like it. I know some of you may have even been sponsored by Adobe. It is bad. Here's a quick look on the list of filters that I'm implementing. We'll talk about those in future videos. Make sure to hit subscribe. Let's talk about cataloging. It has now been about a year since Lightroom's upscaled mobile version has added a checkbox that will show you the photos that have edits on them. And while we're waiting for the professional classic version to catch up to that incredible innovation, Let's talk about Aperture. Aperture was the photo editing app developed by Apple and discontinued in 2014. And it fucking slapped, man. Its cataloging features remain unrivaled to this day. Like, you could tell it to show you photos taken with a focal length between 80 and 120 with long exposure at sunset above this elevation on a day that's not a Tuesday. Like, it was that good. And you could save those search presets as smart albums to reuse them later. Although those technically carried over to the Photos app, but they're like, not as good. It could group your photos by stacks based on a time interval. So if you YOLO high plus for a couple of seconds, it doesn't take up five scrolls of your gallery if you don't need to work on them immediately. It's just so good. Lightroom doesn't have an edited checkbox. Fucking billion dollar company, my ass. How is this acceptable? Well, I am trying to change that. It's not easy, but I'm working on implementing Aperture's entire set of cataloging features and then some stuff on top of that that I personally find useful. I'm gonna start demoing some of this stuff in the upcoming videos, but in the meantime, if you're a photographer, I would love to know what features you would like to see in an editing app, specifically when it comes to cataloging. 
because this, this is a video about cataloging. Go into the comments down below and type in what your dream cataloging feature is and you might actually see it get made. For example, a friend of mine suggested an option to filter by dominant color. Get your oranges and your teals and all that stuff, which I think is pretty cool. Like if you're one of those people that does a seasonal Instagram color thing, I can see that feature being useful, like I would use it. But yes, go into the comments, talk to me, I want to hear from you. This is a team effort if you will. Hopefully this gives you some idea of the goals and the scope of the project. We will definitely talk more about this because the editing part alone is worth multiple videos. I just, I cannot, I cannot cram everything into one video, James. There's probably like two guys left watching at this point. Thank you, two guys, I really appreciate you. If you're interested in following the development of this project, again, I'm gonna be talking to everyone in the comments, I'm gonna be talking to everyone on Instagram, I wanna hear from you. I wanna hear from real photographers who actually use photography software. I'm interested in hearing from real people, unlike Adobe. We'll be talking about the performance, the editing, all of the good stuff in the upcoming videos, so make sure to hit subscribe before I take action.